In a span of at least two years, starting in 2010, a Vero Beach woman said when she was a teenager, this man, Steve Peak, touched her inappropriately when she got out of the shower and forced her to sit naked with him more than once. Peak was arrested in 2016, accused of lewd and lascivious acts against her. Acts she described on Facebook as leading her to need medication and counseling. It took a long, long time to come to this point to get my power and control back. But in a recent plea deal inside the Indian River County Courthouse, those molestation charges were dropped to child abuse. Still felony offenses, but he won't have to register as a sex offender. I wish he would have been registered as a sex offender. That bothered me. We're not identifying the victim in this case, but she told us she did work with prosecutors to come up with this plea deal. The plea that myself and the state came up with was something that I felt like was right in my heart. Mostly she didn't want to bear the stress of going to trial and prosecutors didn't want to risk him being found not guilty. I don't believe it was fair. A community activist, Sean Elliott, is among those questioning if the former deputy was given special treatment. We're here to ask questions as to why that happened. I do agree with, with some of those comments that, yes, maybe if it, if, it, if it wasn't a law enforcement officer or it had been someone else, they would have gotten a harsher sentence. The state assures the community he did not get off easy, and the victim still feels validated by the deal. I just really wanted an apology from him.